I love this conference and I love what it has become. There is no place where you can go and see Gloria Steinem and Condoleezza Rice, Warren Buffett and Jennifer Lopez, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Heidi Klum, Bono and Billie Jean King, all in one day, all in one place. That is extraordinary. Over the past seven years, the California Governor and First Lady's Conference has grown into the nation's premier forum for women. It must begin with each one of us. It can start here today. Women truly are the architects of change all over the world. It's a three-day event for women of all ages, of all walks of life, from all across the political spectrum. It's a call to become architects of change in our own lives, in our own communities, and in our world. The goal is to become who you really are. Take trains by yourself to places you've never been, sleep out alone under the stars, learn how to drive a stick shift. But there is one question that I think everyone wants to know, Justice. What do you wear under those robes? <laughs> Well, whatever I want, it's not going to show. <laughs> Leadership. The whole conference is about women taking the lead. Time is our most precious commodity. You never get it back. The best exercise for the human heart is reaching down and picking someone else up. Perhaps the time is coming. Male people should hand it over. Major responsibility to the female. It's an event that brings women together from all over the country. Yay, we're here! <laughs> to meet, mix, and mingle, to be inspired, and to celebrate the best in each of us. Let us fight for opportunities to be who we are and who we dream to be. And our goal today is for all of you to understand that being who we are is in fact the greatest gift that we can give ourselves, our community, and our world. I will not be someone other than who I am. And I'll fight just to make my stand. What is living if I can't live free? What is freedom if I can't be me? Well, let me tell you, I am a soul. It's a great reminder that we actually control our own destiny, that we choose the lives we lead. We all learn sooner or later, it's not about me, it's not about you. It is about what happens when we come together. Our message is one of empowerment, and thanks to our extraordinary sponsors and partners, its impact is being felt far beyond the conference itself. We've built a community online at womensconference.org where women gather from all across the country and all over the world. We have our own store, Shop With A Purpose or Swap. It helps fund our programs and highlights the work of so many women entrepreneurs. The mission of the conference is to transform the lives of those who attend it, those who watch it online, and those who benefit from its programs. Thanks to the conference, women go to college. The scholarship I received really helped me on my way to become a pediatrician. Thanks to the conference, women can start their own businesses. My belief in myself changed because somebody else believed in me. Thanks to the conference, women can lift themselves out of poverty. I found out that I was owed $4,000 for my tax credit. It allowed me to buy a car and help support my family. Thanks to the conference, women can escape the dangers of domestic violence. For me and my children, literally, the program saved my life. Women can find inspiration in their own history. When you go through the California Museum, you can't help but be inspired. 
And thanks to the Minerva Prize, they can transform the lives of others 365 days a year. We're now serving 44,000 people a month with fresh produce. I'm reaching people that I couldn't have reached before. Wow, am I proud to be a Minerva. Empower yourself, be who you are, feel it, live it, and pass it on. I hope that uh, you all feel the chills and the tears and the laughter and the togetherness, and I feel it so strongly. We truly, truly need each other, and that is what a movement is. The Women's Conference is indeed a movement, a movement to inspire every woman to recognize her own power, hear her own voice, and believe in her own possibilities. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. I know it's so hard and so scary to let the real you unfurl, and getting there takes time. May you have the courage to live your one wild and precious life. May you have the courage to live it, to feel it, and to pass it on. This is our legacy. It is who we are. It is what we do. And we are proud to pass it on.